exciting day for us. The Armour All Power Stage. Scott Petter pirouetting on the stage. Brendan Reeves comes out on top. We had tyre wear today. Brendo is leading at the halfway point. More stuff this afternoon. Scott Petter, you come out and win. <laughs> you would not have thought this was going to be possible in that power stage incident this morning, mate. No, as, as I was spinning through the air at probably 100 k's an hour, I thought I would never have thought uh, to be in this position. So, you know, it's a fantastic feeling, and you know, full credit to Walkinshaw guys. That, again, done an unbelievable job. It's just a dream car to drive. I just keep smiling during the stage. It's fantastic. It's been the work during the year to get like. Hasn't always been like that. You had a really tough start to the season, didn't you? In the, yeah. in the fact that you were really fighting with the car, and now every round we talk to you, said this is the best car I've ever driven. Yeah, look, it is. It's 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 phenomenal, and we've done a lot of work, and it's been a lot of work from myself and Dale to get pace notes right and, and get the car set up and and actually work out what what suits me rather than what's particularly the right way to set a front wheel drive car up. So, uh, you know, I feel very very comfortable in the car. You know, we, we've actually got more left in us. Brendo second today. Not all lost, but the climb's becoming difficult, isn't it? Yeah, and we had a, a good little lead at the service. Um, we wanted to push on, uh, but it wasn't that way when uh, we broke our rear sway bar, and I thought I had a rear puncher. We pushed on, we dropped 10 to Scotty, and then we didn't have time to do that front to rear trick that we did this morning. Um, so our tyres were really worn out, but still good points. He gets eight on us today, so I think he's up by 30 going into tomorrow. It's a very steep mountain, but we're willing to climb it and we'll keep pushing on. Tony Sullins, third for the day. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? What a, what a, what a, what a day for everybody. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, I'm happy to take it, but yeah, a bit of a shame for a lot of people. But uh, no, we, I was happy. You've got to be in the mix, though. I mean, obviously, you're fighting with your team, and as usual, you know, Adrian, you just swapped each stage, you had a good stage each, and it sort of worked in your favour. The young Mackenzie had some real pace on, but obviously made a, made a mistake, yeah. or whatever's happened a couple of cases in the end. So, uh, you know, for you, you pick up the pieces, but third, strong for tomorrow. Yeah, very much so. Um, the car's in good condition, haven't put a scratch on it all day, so conservatively fast, but yeah, I, I'm really happy. Adrian Coppin, a tough day for you guys. Fourth though, you know, the championship third position still there and going well. Big battle with your teammate as usual. Yeah, it's been a, a really good battle. Um, that first stage obviously suits me well. Obviously the second stage uh, that we do uh, suits me well. So, you know, it was a bit of a tit for tat, but um, look, he had a really good time in that third stage and got us, uh, I think, by six and we only managed to get one point something back on him. So uh, the tyres are absolutely toast. So uh, a bit of a miscommunication there. Um, so we, got, we had the wrong tyres. No, that's, that's life. Yeah. And, and I guess the good news about that is it might help your allocation for tomorrow, potentially. Um, everyone's talking about how many kilometres and tyre wear and stuff, so there's a bit of a tactical game to play tomorrow, isn't there? Not maybe just outright pace. That's right. Like, I think everyone's in the same boat, trying to make the right judgement of calls. Mediums definitely weren't the, uh, the way to go out then. Um, so unfortunately, that's too out of allocation. But look, now we've just got to sort of sit down tonight and work out how we best do it. The rears are OK. Um, so like, if I can get through and have the same rears all, all weekend, uh, look, we should be able to get out of trouble. You set off the pace, and like you said, you broke a dry shot. That's been a true form guide yet, but within you probably know whether you think you're there based on the tyre condition because you took the second-hand fronts, as you, as you told us. Where do you think you're at tomorrow? Oh, where do you realistically think you are? Look, I hope on the on the first stage we just looked at the footage and three minutes we drove at 60k an hour. Um, so the time we lost, we lost 30 seconds on the stage. So we we're around the pace. And the second run through, we took in tyres with 50% and it just didn't work. They, they, they wore out, they started to blister and they pulled apart. I didn't think they'd make it and I was right. So um, saying that, we're only three seconds off Brennan who was running to try and win the heat. So I can't be too down on myself with the time of the yeah. stage time we did. So Scott was lightning quick, which I expected. And just to be close to Brennan, I was pretty happy considering what tyres we had. We've got something to look forward to tomorrow. Like you said, no real excuse. You've got good tyres, the car's sorted and no doubt you're looking forward to just bolting through a hopefully long and successful day. Yeah, I'll... See if I can find a book of excuses when I get home tonight because I might need them tomorrow because I think the guys are going pretty quick. But, uh, you know, we've got the tyres and the car still feels good. Yeah. So we'll push on.